Okay. Well, first, yeah, I'd, I'd like to start off by welcoming everybody who's participating in the program. Global Network is the first exchange program. And it's and fitting, I think, first that it take place together with our colleagues in the Philippines. I don't have to tell anybody watching this that Damsel really is the fountainhead where this type of citizen got its start. They, and what they years, and years and years later, are looking at one of the most cutting edge issues that's facing our community, chronic voting. And, and Damfro, again, is in the lead. I'm, I'm very happy that our colleagues are agreeing to join us in this. As the first exchange program, what I hope we'll see over here series of activities following this particular topic and other critical topics of our election monitoring. And there will be other ways to communicate as well, as Megan Fensel has informed everybody, blogs, through structured chat uh, discussions. But what we're hoping is that everybody throughout the network, all 140 members, make this their own. Contact each other, ask for topics to discuss. Um, structure ways that we can learn from one another so that we really can really progress um, what's happening. And learning not just about the election context, but the other kinds of things that we're all involved in, uh, and sharing news even about breakthroughs that are taking place. By way of introduction to today's topic, I think everybody knows that uh, years ago now, Dr. Paul and I did a guidebook on monitoring electronic voting and electronic voter registration. That's available online. Megan can put that out. But there's a, a short and new handbook that the European Union has called e voting handbook. I'll make a link available online to that as well. I think a nice introduction done in terms of guidelines on approaching the subject in various countries. First thing, and I'm only going to make a couple of points by end. All have to keep in mind about electronic voting that it's not a technical matter. First and foremost, public policy. It really changed the nature and how citizens about who's going to have who's going to have. Not just the difference between marking the paper this way. Go to a ballot box, vote the traditional evidence of what each voter. When you go to an electronic machine, Reporting of that makes the evidence of the and by nature it becomes much more of a challenge to be able to So there should be a public policy debate in any country. All of the stakeholders, the groups that are involved in, the parties and others should be involved in the discussion of electronic voting isn't the right way to go. What the plan is for doing it. Pilot programs involved in the decision making, not just about whether to go to the election, involved in how the design is done, the specifications are done, testing and certain training, and looking at the public policy implications about the cost of this. Not just the cost of the machines, the cost of training. Maintenance and all of the other hidden factors. And in many countries, whether the people who run the technology actually be the election commission, whether the parties will be able to serve. And at the end of the day, whether outsiders, whether the private companies or foreign companies, are really controlling the mechanisms of the business. A lot of public policy implication illustrates this in the approach all the way through how it's looked at the law, the testimony that you've done. Constructive for all of us. So thank our colleagues again and turn the microphone over to really know what this is all about, our friends at